Okay, now I don't know if I included that little clip of me buying a PS3, a couple of video games, and Star no, I was about to say Starfield. I wish it was Starfield. Are y'all interested in Starfield, by the way? I got the, I was so mad. So today is the September 1st, actually, and it came out over where I am in America, in the East Coast, at 8 p.m. EST, if you got like the, one of the dope editions, the premium editions and up. I got the Constellation Edition, which comes with the watch. Now, the problem with that is that it was a physical version so everybody that got the game digitally was able to play it yesterday at 8 p.m est meanwhile where i got the physical version that's not even really physical because it just came with like all the dope stuff a steel book and a download code i have to wait for my package to come in the mail for my download code what kind why did you just email it to me and why would you give me a steel book for a download code anyways as i was saying skylanders not not starfield it was a ps3 with some ps3 games like 17 ps3 games and skylanders i don't know if i included that clip or not but that happened before i did that major big massive store buyout and i told myself i was not going to be searching for any more inventory because i just spent a thousand dollars on over 800 video games like eight or nine consoles and a bunch a ton of accessories and stuff so really i didn't really need it all like that but when i saw this deal you ever see a deal and you just can't pass up on it like when you see a deal you just yo you just got it and you're probably thinking okay if you're not looking to buy right now then why are you on facebook marketplace well you're asking too many questions what up you want to check it out yeah sure Below the GameCube. Ooh. The cord for the PS3, I threw it in there somewhere. For the three, you said? The three, yep. Yeah. Oh, I see it. Yeah. It looks like it's all here. What about that spiral game you was talking about? Go grab it. See that? <laughs> See? The PS1 and, one? And you said I was the scammer. <laughs> All right, I'll just take this. It's fine. I mean, you could take like 10 bucks off if you want. Well, I got That's cash. Cool. You, have, you have change? I bought five bucks off. I think I have five. <laughs> All right. One, two, three, four, five. You do what, eBay? You do flea markets? What do you do? I do it all. Uh, what I do, I, I just sell on eBay though, but I go to like flea markets and stuff. Yep. If you want to take, it's kind of a ride. You're from that. Brimfield? Uh, not Brimfield, Plainfield Pike. It's I don't know that Sunday. one. Sunday. It's, it's like five minutes from here. Ah. Uh, so if you, know, if you want to take it. What time does it start? Ride, it starts early. It starts like six or seven. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I, I'll take a ride. I'll take a trip. So for those the... are the ones you usually find. The indoor ones are usually tough to find deals. Outdoor ones is the yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. I found like a huge box of Nintendo games every before, so Ooh. you never know. Yeah, that's my go-to. You never know, yeah. What, Nintendo, or what do you do? A cartridge? What do you mean? What's your like main thing you look for? Everything. I'm not picky, yeah. yeah. Except Atari. I hate Atari. <laughs> <laughs> the scoop has been scooped, and if y'all heard, I said, oh, but y'all, you called me the scammer. And it's because dude wanted me to pay cash, but I was trying to pay Venmo because, you know, receipts, IRS, I'm trying to be able to claim these purchases. Can't really do that with cash. So with these Facebook Marketplace purchases, I want all of them to be through Venmo or some type of like traceables, like a paper trail of some sort with it. But dude was so adamant on straight cash. And I even showed him like the, uh, the, the my recent transactions on Venmo of all the other purchases I did. And he was just like, nope, I've been burned too many times. Sorry, dude, cash. So I brought him cash. You want cash? You got cash. I got a good deal. You can see it back there. You see the GameCube. You see the GameCube. Now I just have this bag right there that I want to take down to uh savers and just get rid of it it's stuff that i had for so long like i tried to take them to swap meets and i couldn't get rid of them for like three dollars it's just and i brought it there every single time and nobody bit at this point it's just taking up space so we're just gonna go to savers to drop that off i'm not staying there we're not buying anything we're not doing nothing else we're gonna drop this stuff off 
and we're gonna go back and look at what we got. Thought I grabbed the wrong bag for a second. Hello. Hello. I got a bag full of goodies. Do I just toss the bag in there? Yes, please. Coupon? Coupon? Yeah, I'll take one. Thank you. All right, so now I know I said I wasn't gonna come in here and look around, but see, that's your problem in the first place. Do you believe me? Dude, so much time has gone by since I got this. I honestly don't even remember what's all in here anymore. Look, I done grew a beard. So this little bundle over here came with a bunch of, just a giant bag of Skylanders. And we got some more over here because they couldn't, I mean, this is overflowing as is. They couldn't fit in there. Got a nice PS3. And then we got the, uh, what are the, these, the portals. Yeah, that's what they call them. We got the portals to go with it. I made a little short about this pickup, but basically I know absolutely nothing about Skylanders. Oh, and this bundle also also came with like 15 no no it was 17 this bundle came with 17 video games but i they're not here with me actually a lot of changes have happened we i, I don't have a whole shelf here anymore and there's no video games in here anymore well except for the don't mind those they're trying to work that out but there's basically no video games oh don't mind those e actually what are those oh these are games that i still need to bring over to the storage unit ah oh, okay so basically all the video games that came part of that ps3 bundle as well as those and the plastic baggies are over in the storage unit. The reason why I haven't made a video in so long is because I've been working on moving my entire operation over to a storage unit. And so I've been organizing, separating, putting things in boxes and trying to figure it all out. But I paid $80 for this entire bundle. And like I said, the games are over. They, I don't remember what games exactly. It was some good ones. I did make a short about it and I like pop it up over here. But the the this entire bundle cost me 80 bucks. Um, and I don't know. I think this is a pretty good deal. I'm pretty sure this also came with a controller. But I put all of the PlayStation stuff in this box right here. And I'll be separating or I'll be testing and separating good controllers from bad AV cords, from power cords, and all that good stuff. And I've been cataloging that entire journey over on my second channel called I'm Just Key Flips. If you haven't subscribed to that channel yet, I've been dropping one to two videos a week over there. Especially if you enjoy seeing vlog style behind the scene, what's so I'm just realizing. That's like a triple factor. There's a lot going on in that second channel. The link will be in the description. And now to the big scoop. Look at this, dude. This, honestly, this is another Facebook Marketplace deal that I could not. Is this a Game Boy? Look at this, a Game Boy. Is, is it complete? I don't know if. Oh, wait, is the game even in here? <laughs> wait a minute. Okay, yeah, the game was like chilling at the bottom. And I don't think this counts as a manual. So it's kind of got like, it's like box, game, and inserts, but no manual. I think this is the very first GBA box that I've come across since starting my whole re video game reselling journey. Back when I was a kid, I get a new game. That box was getting demolished. I did not care. <laughs> give me the game but originally the person had just shown a couple of video games that they had for sale and i dm'd them and we have to go back and forth and talking a little i ended up making a deal for all of this so i was gonna show y'all each individual like you know how i always do but there's like i think over 70 video games i forget exactly how many but there's a lot of video games here so what instead i'm gonna do i'm gonna go through each of them see which ones are worth like ten dollars or more like ten dollars plus shipping and i'll show y'all those well hello Oh, nurse. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I was pleasantly surprised at how many games are worth at least $10 plus shipping. We got Mortal Kombat for the PS3. Midnight Club Los Angeles Complete Edition. And I sold a couple of copies of this already. Ratchet and Clank, A Future Crack in Time. I sold this a couple of times already as well. Also, I'm pretty sure I got a copy of this game with this bundle as well. Skylanders Imaginators. Devil May Cry 2. Now, although this game is complete, the, you see it. I mean, the artwork is super dusty. I don't know if that's like the art itself or if that's just the, the case of it uh, it might just be 
Oh, actually, I think it's just the yeah. That's just the that's just the out uh, the plastic on the case. Okay, we're good. So Lord of the Rings Third Age is one, but the art. Look at the case is messed up. The artwork is ripped, and there's no manual. The the fifteen dollar one is for complete. So mm, same deal for Gauntlet Seven Sorrows. I'm really just showing y'all this in case you come across it in your journey in your video game hunting. Um, these games are worth at least ten dollars plus shipping. This like this is you can see it's completely jacked up. Also, there's no manual, so I'm not gonna get fifteen for this. We got Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, Pac-Man World 2. And this is actually interesting because I was using my scanner to look up most of these. But this says part of a set, not for individuals. So what did this, if y'all know, let me know in the comments below. But what did, what was this part of? Kingdom Hearts Rechain of Memories. And although I've never played this game myself, the GBA version was phenomenal. Street Racing Syndicate. And this is my second time coming across this game. Wow, it was only $4. I actually sold this game for $20 plus shipping before. This one caught me off guard freedom oh from the makers of hitman 2 i didn't see that before freedom fighters for the xbox grand theft auto 3 from the xbox collection this is complete with the map frogger beyond for xbox and i'm pretty sure i sold a copy of this before as well quake 4 for 360 and i'm just now noticing someone took a major bite out of the top corner of this we got the beatles rock band completely sealed so that's the that's, i think that's the only reason why this is worth 15 bucks and another sealed game dungeon siege 3 another lord of the rings game Game. this one is the return of the king there goes another ten dollar plus shipping game i think this is might be more than ten dollars plus shipping can't remember but charlie and the chocolate factory only problem with mines is it's not complete okay it's not opening either but i don't have a manual for this so i'm not going to get the whole 15. we got star wars battlefront matt hoffman's pro bmx 2 i never got into these games i was a big tony hawk's pro skater fan and i i think i played like the first one maybe but i never really dived into this series this game when i saw the cover i thought was going to be more and then i looked closely it's shell shock nom so it's like a shooter game by looking at the cover i thought this was a horror game at first but it did make the ten dollar plus ship and benchmark we got two copies of max Payne, but this one unfortunately doesn't have the manual we got burnout for a ps2 burnout one i don't even think i've ever come across this game but yo make sure you look out for like street racing games they typically worth some decent coin we got tony hawk american wasteland and unfortunately this copy does not have the manual we got star wars battlefront 2 and although this is worth ten dollars plus shipping on its own i think i might bundle it with the star wars battlefront one we got crash bandicoot the wrath of cortex i sold this game a couple of times this one i don't know my scanner when i picked it up my it's this there was a sold comp for for ten dollars plus shipping i don't remember exactly how much but it was ten dollars plus shipping i don't know i'm gonna trust it but these games typically don't sell for much this was another pleasant surprise a resident resident evil games they're they're bread and butters they sell fast but they don't typically sell for a lot no more than like ten dollars usually and this game does, but unfortunately mine doesn't have the manual. Then we got this Ninja Turtles game. I think it's just called Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles for Xbox, no manual, but oh goodness. But um, if it was complete, this would be $10 plus shipping. And last but not least, a game that I've never heard of before. This is Scalar, and it looks like, like one of those 3D platformers. I mean, look at the main character. He looks like Spyro, but it looks like one of those, oh my, okay, <laughs> okay. <laughs> dude if you follow please subscribe to my second channel it's it's like a running joke about how much how often i drop things it's it's crazy this game also fit the ten dollars plus shipping criteria and then i also had some interesting games like although this didn't make the ten dollar plus shipping criteria i had this kind of almost sealed destiny oh my goodness okay dude I, like i'm i'm on I, I, this was it was on the tape now you're just showing off please and then we had another sealed game Game, madden nfl 13 and although it didn't make the yo it's actually kind of crazy how this didn't make the ten dollars plus shipping criteria but i mean it's sealed then we have this game dot hack gu and i'm like this is i guess it's the japanese version oh uh, yeah look at that so usually japanese versions have completely different covers but these are the absolute why am i just now noticing that it says ntcj at the top wow i'm okay anyways I, the covers are usually different on japanese games but these are the exact same minus like the the where they put the dot the name of the game at and then this was part of it and i don't even i didn't even scan it to see how much it oh wait not for resale okay interesting i didn't even scan it to see how much it's worth because i'm actually gonna keep it and put it part of my little the last of us shrine i'm gonna stick that right there <laughs> we also got a couple of jewel case gems right here we got the italian job for ps1 hot wheels turbo racing for ps1 it, it was made by ea interesting street racer for 
for PS1. Yo, what's up with my man? Look at his face. My man is having the time of his life. Oh, NBA 2K. I know this isn't this probably isn't worth a lot, but this is the very first like basketball game that I remember playing. Oh my goodness. Well, like the one that I really got because I played like you know the 64 and stuff like that. Uh, what was it? Is it the shoes? I, what NBA Jam? Yeah, I've had those games, but I don't so many hours like real because at this time like this is when i decided i really wanted to become a basketball player so i took this game so seriously wow throwback and then we got centipede for sega dreamcast and lastly a collection of activision classic games for the atari 2600 includes 30 games for the ps1 and then we also got two ps2s as part of this deal you know you guys know i like to open them up to see ah we still got another one so hopefully what the well actually then we also got a gamecube and a ps3 now for this entire lot for all of these games the 70 games the p wait no wait hold on the ps3 the gamecube the two i'm doing this all wrong but the two y'all get it all of this stuff that i just showed y'all i paid 300 dollars and just the 10 dollars plus shipping games which were there was about i want to say like 33 34 of them just the games alone can pay for the entire lot here it also came with the ps2 controller and this janky fod looking ps4 what i don't even bro i might like donate this thing i mean i'm about to hook these two ps3s up and see if they left us any goodies inside all right because it was the closest this is the ps3 from the 300 dollars bundle no all right now this is from the 80 dollars bundle come on baby come why all right so basically they hate me and then last but not least for my local savers as you can see i paid two dollars and 79 cents for these like pendant gym i don't know actually let me take them out the bag so here they are there's some like early 2000s you see these are from 2002 this one's from 2003 and these two are from 2000 the year 2000 these are like medall disney medallions you see the medallion collection and back then they went this one went for eight dollars i seen these one they went for six dollars i don't really know i'm gonna throw up comps if i can find some but i thought i looked some medallions up some medallions were worth like some pretty decent coins. So I was like, this thing is $2.70 or something like that. So I decided to take a risk on it. I don't know. Although I am primarily just video games, I like to like dabble in other things. I mean, why pass up an opportunity to make money if I can? That was a pretty good haul if I do say so myself. Also, I forgot to mention that it came with this little uh, 64 megabyte memory card. Could you believe that 64 megabytes used to be a lot? You get a memory card with 64 megabytes, you save in games for days. Anyways, I have way too much work ahead of me, so I'm gonna catch y'all in the next video.